got it. I've experienced their power. Pull me out! Pull me out! I'm about to drown. I'm all tangled in the rope. And their bike. Oh! Look what it did to my shoe. It's hard to believe anything other than humans could threaten them. But the American Crocs of Costa Rica are facing a new danger. Some of them may be going blind. A normal croc eye is clear, but this eye is dark and cloudy. Something's wrong. For crocs, vision is key. Their eyes are perfectly adapted to their environment. Crocs eyes are effective during the day and at night and above and below the water. But something is damaging these crocs eyes and our goal is to identify the culprit. My destination is the Tarcales River in western Costa Rica. This is where the eye problems seem to be the most acute. I've assembled an expert team of scientists to help me solve the mystery. My good friend and croc expert Juan Bolaños alerted me to the eye problem several years ago. And since then, the number of crocs with damaged eyes has been growing. We don't know what's causing the problem, but we have some suspects. Toxic contaminants. Or an infection, possibly caused by pathogens like bacteria or viruses. Sections of the Tarcales River look peaceful and unspoiled. But it's sadly one of the most polluted rivers in the Americas. Contaminants like pesticides and metals found in many rivers have been associated with wildlife diseases around the globe, causing deformities in birds, malformations in frogs, and tumors in fish. It's possible contaminants in this river, like DDT or mercury, may be damaging these croc's eyes. But infection could be the other culprit. Runoff from many Costa Rican farms and towns flows into the Tarcalos. Bacteria and viruses thrive in polluted rivers filled with human and animal waste. To find out what's affecting the croc's eyes, it's gonna take hands-on research. Our team will examine the eyes and take tissue samples to determine the potential culprit. 